was a close one, I'll tell you. Well, here I am. I'm in, I th I'm pretty sure it's, it's may maybe a town called Milton, but I know I'm in Quincy, Massachusetts. And, huh, whew, that was a close one. But that's besides the point. The point of this video is I'm heading towards the Milton paper mill and it's out in these woods and rumor has it it's one of the oldest paper mills it actually is the oldest paper abandoned paper mill in the country so we're gonna trek through these woods and hopefully we can stumble across it without getting run over by a train Whew. There she is, all tucked away there in the woods. What a beautiful setting this is. Right on a, right alongside of the railroad tracks here. Oh, it looks like we're gonna run into lots of colors today. Colors, 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 colors. It looks like I found a way in. This old mill here is a whopping place. I do like how they, the, the trains came right through the building like this. And that must have been the loading dock right there. This must have been the shipping area, I would imagine, this building. Let's explore this building. And there's about four more buildings we could check out too. I'm not gonna walk on this floor, it looks mighty unsafe, so. But I did notice there is a basement here. Bunch of pipes down there, they look pretty gosh darn heavy too. I don't know if you can see them from here, see them? Looks like we have some big tankers in front of us. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, rumor has it is this is the oldest uh, paper mill. It well it was the oldest paper mill in the country. The Milton Paper Mill. That's where I came in at. Let's go explore over this way and see what's up. Look at the old bin. Maybe it was used to hold scrap back in the days. Got some pretty nice graffiti over there on the wall. Let's walk along this edge without falling down here. Watch 
I'm out to bomb like Vietnam under the same name, Tame One. The bad one, Ink Flow Master Bastard with the Magnum. I tags up quick and then I steps to the exit when it's time to get sefted. Or flex on some fresh shit, some whack crook. So my black book, I know who took it. I know it's so tagged because the fag writes his name crooked. The ink I use might stink, but you gotta think. I got my props, hops, cause my tags don't shrink. I'm tagging and bagging bitches cause my name is famous in the street. Cause they know my name's from cruising in the Jeeps. So yo, grab a can and put your man up and stand up For the fresh, never stale niggas off the third rail It's that artifacts chat from the wrong side of the track The artifacts from the wrong side of the tracks The artifacts from the wrong side Just to get a, a gist of how big this is, look at the size of these shafts right here. This is where probably where paper spun on. Real wide. I noticed they're littered around this whole building here. We got some we got some drums over here. Probably held some chemicals. Place is like a wasteland. Look at this. Get some kind of part over here to some machine. Looks like we had some belts going around there. Looks like a looks like an old motor. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. There's the river. Got over here. Looks like we have a big rack for something. Maybe that's where they kept the big roller shafts sitting on them. On this rack right here. I have another one right over here. Like this might have been where the boiler was. It's been gutted for all it's worth. Here's underneath the building, looking at the foundation here. Ooh. Oh, let's get back up there. Lots of old relics like this laying around this, this old paper mill here. We, what do we got? What do we got in these yellow bags? CPC division. Microflock products. Must be some kind of chemical. We've 
got a whole crap load of them right here. Got a nice hole. Wow, that goes down pretty far. That's no joke. Look at this. I'll try to get closer to the edge. I really don't want to walk on this wood here. And it's water down there. I'm not even I'm not even bothering. And it doesn't look like there's a way up if I fall in. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's all water all down there. See how sketchy this looks? I don't like it. <laughs> Just gonna walk over here. Let's go check out some more buildings. But before we leave, I wanna look at that art on the wall there. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now that's some talent. See, there's some more big pipe rollers right there. Massive. They probably weigh about, my guess, thousand pounds each. Trying to find a way in. We got barbed wire up on the top. Looks like an old jail. <laughs> you see? Really trying to keep people out of here. What the heck is this thing? Looks like a big tank of some sort. I wonder if it's filled with water. Anyone need any garbage? The roof up here looks a little bit off limits. I'd like to get up there though. That looks real funky. Really funky. I think there's an old camera, see it? Probably doesn't even work. I must say, now that is some, some pu putrefying water. Puker, putrefying, putrefying, however you want to pronounce it. That's disgusting. Ooh. That's one hazard you run across when you're exploring abandoned buildings like this. And another hazard is some of the floors are mighty, mighty unsafe. Look at this machine, huh? Hmm. Well, let's walk around, try to be safe about this. 
there's some more of that disgusting water right there. That's all filled with water. Must have been one of the main pools for making paper of some sort. I wonder how deep that goes. Now that's nasty. It's a little dark on camera. I'll try to get the lighter spot. Here's the roof. And here's the floor that I am not walking on. Never, never for sure. But I do want to come over here and peek over the edge. It's a labyrinth of mud. That's like a labyrinth. If you go down there, probably all interconnects each other. Amazing. Cool. Wish I can get a better view of this, like a higher view. Oh my goodness gracious. I found some of what this old mill actually produced. We have some paper here. I cannot believe that this paper is dry. Look at this. You could actually write on this and it's sitting right here. But on the other hand, this page, this is what a roll of paper turns into over time it looks like a big rock like this isn't that funny no just joking because it is a rock no more core in this one actually I'm glad I came underneath here if I didn't I want to run into that Head on up, back to the tracks. Go check out some more of this old mill here. Doorway looks pretty creepy like that. I don't think I could walk the tracks anymore. taking this little tour with me guys here in the old abandoned uh, Milton paper mill here in Quincy, Massachusetts. So if you put away that soda, like I always say, get off that couch 
because you never know what's spread out in your backyard. And I must say, this was quite the place. And it's mighty, mighty colorful here. So I definitely recommend the Milton Paper Mill here in Quincy, Massachusetts. So with that, guys, I'll see you around.